the lessons of life, man. I mean, I had, I had two fathers and I've learned things from both of them. You know, they're all their failings, all their, you know, uh, not good stuff. I took all the good and I, you know, kept, I, I kept it in me and I left all the bad, right? I mean, everything that, that, that was every failure, every disappointment, every, right. And again, that's how we learn. And, and, you know, even, even investments, I mean, I've had investments where, you know, you, you throw something in with a, with a partner and it just doesn't go the way it's supposed to go and you lose. I mean, I've lost hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars through the years, uh, just trying to become successful, trying to succeed. And, uh, but I think that, uh, what I love about the franchise model is the fact that, um, it is, you know, very, uh, th there's a lot of passivity to it. So that's what I love. Um, but I also love the system part because I'm a systems guy. I love to build systems and I love to have systems. I mean, what helped me in my business throughout all these years was in 1999, I, I opened up my first location and, uh, and I, the first thing I did, and nobody did this back in 1999. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have websites. We didn't have, you know, again, it was especially in our type of business, nobody did this not man but i built systems man i i put everything on video i put it it was dvd back then everything on tape cassette back then and i just started handing them out to all my agents every single week i'd be selling them my little tapes for two dollars by the way i wasn't trying to get rich i just wanted them to get really competent and confident in what they were doing and today we have a 1500 person organization 50 locations and um and it was all because, and, and you're shaking your head, yes. If you're listening to the podcast, he's shaking his head, yes, because he knows what I'm talking about, is systems are everything. Tell me about that, John. Yeah, and I was going to say, I mean, kudos to you and whether or not you, I mean, we have a lot of businesses that are now franchised and they love the idea of, you know, scaling quickly, using other people's money who also have skin in the game, all those things you just said, and private equity loves franchising. I mean, they're acquiring franchises right and freaking left right now at the franchise or level, typically. Um, you know, if you Google that, you'll just see all that activity. And so it can be a great way for businesses to scale themselves through franchising. We just... We just helped a chiropractic clinic go through the franchise process. We helped a flooring business go through the franchise process. We have some great partners kind of come in on and, and partner on that. Um, but no, I always encourage companies, you know, within the entrepreneurs organization or elsewhere, think of yourself as a franchise, even if you choose not to franchise, because exactly what you just said, you know, what, if you put yourself in someone else's shoes coming in from the outside, you know, what training do you have to have in place? What systems and manuals and processes? what staffing and support personnel, just thinking about your business from that uh, standpoint of if we did move to a new location or a new customer base, what does that look like? It's going to make you better for it. Um, but no, if, you know, going back to what we're talking about, if you're an entrepreneur today or looking to be an entrepreneur and you want to expand and add in a side hustle or business that you know, maybe early on you can put in 15 to 20 hours a week, but over time you really want to scale that back to even call it five or less hours a week, which is definitely doable with the right person in place, you know, wouldn't you rather know that your that, that manager you put in place isn't out there on their own you, with your support, but instead you've got another set of eyes. You've got that franchisor also watching them. Their support team is supporting them, helping them, keeping them going down the path. So it's not, the burden isn't entirely on you. Instead, you've got them in a system where if they execute and they're being guided by that franchisor, it increases the odds of success and allows you to really relax on beaches, as, as you like to say. <laughs> so what's that advice, man, you'd give your younger self? I mean, what, what would you tell yourself, you know, 16 year old self, man, any, 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 any tips? Yeah. You know, the, the chances I took, the risk I took along the way, which, you know, never were that crazy risky, but you know, the little ones I took, you know, I don't regret any of those, the ones that worked out, the ones that didn't, you know, the things I learned from, you know, business partner of mine back in the day used to say, fail fast, you know, and, and so things that didn't work out or asking the girl out or, you know, what have you, I'm glad I did. And, you know, I think that I'm better for it and I've learned lessons, but, you know, been very blessed to you know, kind of figure out things as we go and learn from others. And, you know, we're now in a position where, you know, my siblings and I are supporting our parents, you know, in a small way. I mean, it's not substantial at this time, but you know, it, I, I think of instead of their investing in assets, they invested in their kids. Those were their assets. And now we're paying, able to pay dividends back and support them. And it kind of 
you know, goes around. So it's neat to think about too, just the impact you can have in your community. And when you think about from a stewardship standpoint, I mean, you've been very successful, you know, you're teaching others, you know, through this program, you're guiding others. There's so many things that you personally do. Um, you know, but how I, I've come across a lot of successful business owners that say, Hey, I love it. I wouldn't trade anything, but I'd love to help others do what I did and use my learning. So it's not just, you know, on me. And so you have quite a few folks that will, again, I kind of keep saying a young GM. That's just what I see oftentimes. It's somewhere in their twenties, it's hungry. And they say, Hey, I'm going to set them up for success. I'm going to help them not make the same mistakes I've learned from along the way and, and, you know, coach them up and I'll put a little skin in the game and invest in them, you know, put some equity in, they'll put in sweat equity. That's a great model. You know, it works out more often than not. So um, very doable, something I think for a lot of people to think about. Glad you talked about that because I mean, giving back and I, I wrote a, a little piece in, in, in the brand new book, Wealth on the Beach. Just, oh, by the way, we just launched it and uh, it's out in on Amazon now. So I'm excited about that. The paperback, the ebook. And uh, you know, what's kind of fun is we were number one new book launched on Amazon in the financial services category. So I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm excited huge. about that. Yeah, it's Congrats. a big deal, man. Number yeah. one, baby. That and so um, we are, but, but no, I wrote a little bit about it and, and I wrote this little piece that, that talked about um, somebody's going to need us one day. You know, you, you talked about your parents and my mom, she's been handling my, she pays all my bills. She makes sure all my taxes are paid. She makes sure all my, my financial software is updated and all that good stuff. And she always used to look at me and, you know, or, you know, when I'd be on the computer with her and she'd say, you know, why do you save so much money? You know, like, why, why do you, like, how come you don't go spend more? Why don't you go buy some Lamborghinis or go buy some Rolls Royces and, or buy an even bigger house, you know? And, uh, and I said, because mom, one day somebody's going to need me, you know, somebody's going to, I'm going to have to write a check one day. And it's, uh, it's wild because uh, just about two months ago, we had a family member that was going to die. I mean, literally had, a, had an issue, a health issue. Uh, there was a very good possibility. He's very sick. He was becoming sick and he was going to, you know, it, it could have been fatal. And, um, and there, it's not something that you can just get a loan for. You know, I mean, a lot of times, you know, certain medical procedures, you have to do it you know, right, you have to write a check. I mean, full, they, they need all of the money. And, uh, and that's exactly what happened. And, and we were able to write that check. And uh, today, he's, you know, a couple months later, he's doing so much better. I mean, his life is like completely changed. His health is dramatically better. And, but I'm, I'm glad you talked about that, because even my parents, you know, they're looking for a new home, and they were kind of a little iffy on which one to buy, because my, my dad's retiring. And, and I said, don't worry about it, get up, get the nicer one, you know what I mean? Like, get the nice one. If I need to, to, pitch in some cash every month to make sure the mortgage is taken care of, then, then let's do it. Cause I want to do it. like, that's why I saved my money. That's why I worked so damn hard all those years. That's why I, I, I invested. That's why I get up every day and I still invest. That's why I still make good choices about my finances is because one day somebody's going to need me. And so does that, does that kind of make sense a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I love that. And, and I think that's something we don't talk that much about in total. And, you know, I was talking with some business owners yesterday, and that's maybe why the thoughts, you know, fresh in my mind, but we're talking about exactly what you're saying. And, and a lot of our parents are now getting at that stage of life where maybe they haven't saved up enough. I mean, unfortunately, it's extremely common out there. And so it is neat to position, you know, yourself to not only support your own family, your immediate family, but also extended family. And I mean, that's what it's all about. So. Thank you for watching our short clips on Alonzo Academy. If you'd like to watch the next short clip, click here. If you'd like to watch the entire podcast, click here.